if they can remove MK from the ballot, mm-hmm. there won't be elections in this country. Because <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to our very first podcast of Black Beyond Measure. Mm-hmm. I am your new host, Bunyu M, and please don't forget to follow us on TikTok, which is at uh, Black Beyond Measure Podcast, and on TikTok, which is at Black Beyond Measure Podcast. So I'm not alone, as per usual, I am with my co-hosts, and which I'll give a platform for them to introduce themselves. Please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and follow us, and yeah, please, uh, if you want to comment, do so. So hi guys, I'm Nomtan Azopanisile and yeah, this is our first episode of yeah, Black Beyond yeah, Measure. Yeah. We're so excited. We know that we're starting yeah. on a very high pitch, which is politics, but it's good. It's, it's good. good. Actually, because since it's close to Emma elections, elections now, elections. we're close to elections yeah, now. So this is gonna be a great conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Like she said, check out our handles on Instagram and on TikTok. It's Black Beyond Measure. Take it on every social media page. Yep. Yeah. So I leave it to you, Lovoya. Uh, hi guys. Um, this is Stacky Luvuyo. Um, guys, this is a very important podcast. I, I wouldn't really say important more than the other podcast, but mm-hmm. come on, guys, we are heading towards our elections. We want to know as the youth what will actually be happening in the next five years, in the next ten mm-hmm. years. I mean, come on, it's a very important. I mean, we're currently facing a lot of in, in, in infra- infrastructure problems. Sorry True. about that. Uh, we're facing a lot of. Backlash on international relations. Mm. I mean, we recently had the whole um, Cyril Ramaphosa interfering in the whole Ukraine and Russia thing, mm-hmm. whereby he was uh, supposedly told that he should be focused on more African. Anyway, guys, allegedly, those are alleged news. I don't want to... Yeah, you know. so I'll just introduce so, yeah. our guest. I guess yeah, to today we are with Ukazuzu, Mr. Pilani <laughs> from yeah. the MK Umkondo Siswa Youth League. He is the deputy president of um, the party Youth League. Am I right? No, no, no. I'm the provincial coordinator. Or the provincial oh. coordinator, excuse yes. me, there. You are going to get me expelled from the <laughs> class. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Guys, like, this is, this is serious politics are. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so politics are very serious. Very serious. Yeah. yeah. No. So, yeah, we're going to be asking you a few questions. I need to have one now, because we're heading to poly- like, um, um, elections now. Yeah. And we just want to have a conversation, man. Sazi, Imkonto is only three months old. So, we'd like to know, Guti, what are you guys bringing us and why? Why are you? Why like why is coming up and yeah, how did you guys start? We saw that your youth leader, Ubongosi, um Kanyele was also participating in Gu Fizma's Ford protest. So that was a very, very, very powerful yes. movement, yeah. right? Yeah. So you guys big. have a like Shutama leaders when well, they've got a good history when it good comes foundation. to foundation. Yes, the youth and yeah. And and so we'd like for you to just explain Gutsubani and how did you join the MK and yeah. Well, I come from Minasis and Gupila and Kazu Zorandul. Gunga and Magu Pande don't share stuff like Kazu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Washu Mushi Mula says figure less from controversies as figure as Kalelegi. Yeah. We black like me in black. Black beyond measures. Yeah. A podcast. Yeah. Siabo Magakulti ni samgele. We thank you for. Uh, inviting us, you know, as a leadership of young people in the MK, we we appreciate such platforms where we can engage with our members and engage with the general public because you know we live in in the fourth industrial revolution, yeah. uh, you yeah. know the the age of social media and all yeah. of those things. So yeah. we really appreciate the platform that we've came here, and we want to wish you all the best in the, in this postca- podcast. Thank you. you must grow. You must uh, push. And uh, be known across the country and even beyond the country. Uh, like internationally. the word says, it receive beyond, beyond yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, yes. Um, I am the provincial coordinator of the MKU League under the command of the most capable and ever hard working leadership of Bonkos Kanyele, mm-hmm. who's our volunteer in chief. Indeed, mm-hmm. his struggle credentials, they speak for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's someone that is very known across the country for his contribution in the revolution, especially of fighting for young people. Indeed, we were involved in the struggle of the Fizz Must Fall. At that time, we were still studying with him at the Deben University of Technology. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is where he was arrested. And uh, in fact, across the country, there were like 987 students that were arrested in total. Uh, but yeah, now he became the face of the Fizz Must Fall because he was the only one who remained in prison 
when all of these people were released. Were, were released. Yeah. So he stayed in jail for close to six months. Yeah. Uh, and, and that raised a lot of eyebrows yeah. in the public to say, why is this guy uh, the only one that is still remaining in, in jail? Why is he not released? What has yeah. he done so much? And uh, fortunately enough, he was released by the Constitutional Court which is the highest court in the land, you know, and that is history for you because there's no political prisoner in this country whose matter has ever been heard in the con court, including Mandela, Robert Sobukwe, uh, all the, the political prisoners that you know about in our history. They've never went to the level of the con court. So Bunkosi's matter was heard by 11 judges. By that time, the chief justice was still Mokweng Mokweng, Mm -hmm. And they were able to release him with a bail of 250 rand because they could not understand why, why this young man is kept in prison because it was a national protest. Exactly. Why him alone? Because the state was saying he's a danger to society. How can you say a young person is a danger to a state that has guns, a state that has machinery, and yeah. you, you single out one person, yeah. meaning that it was a political arrest, he was being targeted and was used you know, to, to scare or intimidate. Yes, like exactly. Yeah, as an example. That's what, that's what they yeah. were doing, yeah. So we, we are in Umkonto Wesizwe, and Umkonto Wesizwe, you click, you will remember that uh, Ubabu President Jacob Zuma actually announced Umkonto officially yes. 16 December. Yes. We'll be celebrating uh, three which is, months. Which, by the way, sorry mm. guys, was on our official holiday out, uh, due to the whole Springbok uh, team winning the whole... Oh, the whole oh, World yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I figured you guys were going to yeah. Anyway, yeah, continue. Yes, um, yes. No, the 16th December is a historical day because that is the day that Umkonto was formed in 1962 yeah. mm -hmm. by the first volunteer-in-chief, which was Uta Nelson Mandela. Uh, he formed uh, Umkonto um in defiance mm -hmm. of, the, of the ANC. Uh, because as the youth at that time, they believed that negotiating with the apartheid is no longer working. Uh, they can no longer write letters to the queen and ask for freedom, while the apartheid regime was continuing killing our people. So that youth league of that time took a resolution that we must now start to fight fire with fire. Mm. So they formed Mkonto Wesizwe. The NEC of the ANC rejected Mandela's proposal of forming Mkonto, but anyway, they defied and they formed it, and they started to go to exile, to train, to become soldiers so that they can come back and fight the apartheid system. So oh, yeah. fast forward now, in 2023, President Zuma have chosen that day because it's a historical day to take Umkonto Wesizwe, that was formed that time, and re renovate it, revamp it, if you can say it, you know, hmm. uh, and, and modernize it so that it can continue to fight the people's fight today. Because in his speech, he believes that the ANC is no longer representing the best interest of the people. Mm. The ANC is now yeah. captured, especially by yeah. Ramaphosa's faction, mm -hmm. which are puppets of white monopoly capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So they formed Mkonto now. In fact, Mkonto was formed a long time ago. Long time, yeah. It was yeah. just a, a But it revamp. was not a political party. It was not a political party. Yeah, it was not registered as a political yeah. party, but it was only registered last year. So now Mkonto is contesting or on the ballot we are going full force on the 29th of May. Yeah, can you please hold it there on the ballot? Did mm. you, when we were listening to the news coming here, do you remember we had Guti, the MK might not make it to the ballot? To the ballot. Mm. Because Actually, yeah, um, your leader, important. yeah, your leader yeah. is expelled. I don't know for what behavior. And before you answer that, like I saw also on Twitter, like when I was searching, obviously, before yeah. you guys came today, I saw that um, there was a meeting. I don't know if it was a public address or he was addressing the public or whatever and then he was chasing someone out calling him a sellout yeah. like who gave him the authority to do that and you mm -hmm. guys as his sidelines like what do you have to say about such behavior no the leadership of Bonkos Kanyele is a very decisive leadership mm -hmm. a leadership uh, that promotes discipline okay. you know discipline is a cornerstone of a revolution I, we, I we, without that. discipline the revolution will collapse so that video when you saw chasing that guy out, it is because precisely because he's trying to build a organizational culture of discipline. Those particular people, they are individuals here in the MK, Abambatis Kumba say, say in Vukotaba, in peace. Mm. Yes. If you remember how COPE was collapsed, COPE 
was not collapsed by people outside. The ANC infiltrated COP by internal members inside. Mm. So the leadership, if it fails to deal decisively with discipline, you'll find mm. MK rutting, you'll find MK being split into two, you'll find our meetings, chairs being thrown all over. Mm. Because once you allow a tendency to begin, once you allow it and you don't deal with it early, it will spread across the whole board. So that is why the leadership of the youth league is very decisive. The leadership of the youth league has been appointed by President Zuma himself, mm -hmm. yes. and given authority over the affairs of the youth league. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an interim leadership because we'll only have conferences after the elections. Okay. But we are given full authority to appoint, to do our own programs, to have our own membership, our own constitution, and Bunkosi was acting directly on that, that we don't need young people in the MK who have tendencies of ANC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I oh, Pilani, right, mm. moving away from the MK perspective yeah, of way MK of punishment, yeah. when I, like, what are your views on how Bunkosi punished that uh, so-called sellout? No, that guy is suspended from the MK you click. Now, when you are suspended... Part of the conditions to say you are not allowed to attend any programs, you're not allowed Attending to... with the MK? MK Youth League, specifically. Okay. 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 MK, you can he's still a member of MK, you can oh, attend. Okay. But of the Youth League, you can attend. So he attended that meeting in defiance of, uh, of... The, that suspension okay. that you are suspended. So that is why he had to be chased out of the meeting. Oh, okay. So that we also make an example to other members and send warning shots that in this organization, we are not going to tolerate Such discipline. Such behavior, okay. So that if they want to follow suit, they know what's going to happen. Because mm. those people actually, if, if I can just tell you what is happening, mm -hmm. those comrades have been seen in hotels mm. with old people discussing certain things and certain matters. Some of the things they are discussing, they are telling us that are telling because song is joining MK in Now, true. fast forward two months down the line, he's too old Sikam now. Similar yeah. Those are tendencies which I told you about. I hope. Kumbula was around Umbaz Mashilo no the court. Yeah, I remember. Remember, Umbaz Mashilo claimed that is a president undermining the president Oekona, which was terror the court. So now, if we have young people going to those caucuses and they were warned, don't go to caucuses in hotels. And these boys, we know them. They're, like they are poor, like us. You know, we are coming from poor backgrounds. Mm. All of a sudden, now they are driving polos. Now they are they are having new techies, and they are not working anywhere. And in the controversies, we don't have salaries. It's still a new organization. Yeah. Yeah. We are volunteering. Yeah. We see a volunteer. We come to hold it. We see a baboon. A baboon. To have a look in the bathroom. A baboon. To KFC. Why do you get this money to do those things? You know, and they've been warned by the leadership, and they continuously defied, and the leadership suspended them. They also defied and attended that program. That is why they were chucked out of that meeting. Of that meeting. Okay. Yes. So, um, I'm sorry if you had a question, but um, mm. this goes back to in relation with the person that was chased out of a meeting or, other, or rather ready that you guys had. Yes. There were certain st two students that were suspended due to them, I think... Joining. It's one of them. Yeah, yes. it's one of them. Yes. That were... That had joined the MK in alliance with... Yes, yes. With the ANC if I'm putting my question correct or the sentence correct, rather. Mm. So that's the only reason you guys suspended them. Mm. It's, it's because of the other alliances that they had with the MK. Is it because of that? Or? No, no, it's because it's primarily because they were acting in, 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 in defiance and they were creating parallel structures. Yeah. Uh, because there is a leadership of the youth league that is appointed, mm -hmm. recognized and appointed appointment letter is there mm. Mm. official letter now themselves they just sit down two of them as friends and then they say we're forming this thing a structure you are going to be president i'm going to be sg and then they go around launching that organization okay i'm sorry so, to sorry to cut you the short so you, mm. you're trying to tell me that mk has actually proper objectives and obligations that they would want to achieve with a certain um criteria that they're given which is the mk youth league right they mm. have a certain uh, objective criteria that they're given they would want to achieve their certain goals yes. according to their objective no, so if if a student rather comes within the the, the party itself or that the, the 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 youth league of the party 
and should the objectives and the obligation or the goals or whatever not align with the party itself, that constitutes to the student or the young person being totally suspended. Yeah, you know, in the in the MK comrades, we uh, we in the youth league we derive our existence from the mother body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So including the women's league. Mm -hmm. So meaning that you can't just oh, wake up. League. There's a women's league. You can't just wake up wherever you are and then you appoint yourself and say you are the president of the women's league. Mm. It will mean there will be total chaos because also now so that is why we have a central leadership that communicates a central message that appoints people to positions, you know. So the problem that we had with those comrades, they were not appointed officially. They appointed themselves and they said that they are leadership. It means now I can wake up tomorrow and form an MK Union's a Workers Union and appoint myself mm -hmm. that I'm a president. Yeah. That will mean total chaos in the organization. Total chaos. Yeah. So we need discipline, order, and stability. Yeah. And that is what we're trying to instill. That okay. makes so much sense. So I just would like to ask you a question out of that, ne? Mm. like uh, looking at the fact that I am an adult content creator and, I mean, I am also allowed to have a say when it comes to my vote and yes. um, who leads me as a South African personnel, you understand? Yes. So I would like to find out, Duguti, what are your thoughts on sex work still being illegal right now in South Africa, looking at the fact that <laughs> there's still young girls, Abama, La Pimana, get street in the deep city, um, a CBD, a Jobek, you know? Yeah. There's still girls who stand there during the day, and stand on the side of the road traffic police, control the traffic, but we still say it's illegal. Why do you think that is happening? And when, as a member of the MK, what do you have to say in regards to that? When I'm a sister, I believe that sex work is work. That is what I believe. And uh, in fact, you know, I once dated uh, a person who's working in the police service, you know, and she would come, Miss Lily Nye. Utaluama, what Utaluama told the police. Yes, I'm chale. We put where he bought palenga. Let's give him both of them. Who's bought pelenga and linga? No, why are you arresting about that argument? Not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We put how linga is here is a melimpe. We have as rope muntu, as in the muntu in kuzi. In fact, and in fact, the the the, the mere fact we put. Uh, by it is because there's a demand for it. There's a market. There's a market, there's a market, there's a market and there are customers for, for it. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, but I believe that the reason why it's illegal is because we live in a country which the system is anti-black one, True. but also anti-woman. We live in a patriarchal, mm -hmm. male-dominated society. Mm -hmm. So all those manifestations, they come out through government laws and government policies, mm -hmm. which are disallowing the, the people. You know, in, in this country, people are living in in very, very, very deep poverty levels, you know. So if you can do something, find something that can help you elevate yourself and escape the poverty, the poverty. levels. And if you don't mm. do anything that is like untoward to someone else, you don't rob someone, you don't deprive them of their rights, you don't do anything, people must just be allowed to do what they want to do. And at the end of the day, it's your body. It's your, it's your, it's your choice. It's your, I mean, as the show says, this body works for, for mm. me. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. This um, body works for, for, for me. me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going back to the whole chaos part of having students um, electing themselves as leaders, right? Let's go back to just a, a brief history. Um, you correct me if I'm wrong, mm. but... The youth of 1976, no one actually elected them mm. to lead the whole uprising, mm. as I would call it, right? So do you think, they, are they wrong, that actually the, the two students that were suspended, do you think they are wrong for actually saying, I am MK, I am a leader? Yeah, because you know? you're saying, looking at the fact that it's at, happened before yeah, in it, history, it has happened and, before. and history it came out to actually itself. be something... No, yes. no, no, my brother, we are misinformed. Mm -hmm. the, the, the struggles which happened in 1970s and 1980s, they were led. Okay. They had leadership. Steve Bantu Bigo was part of the people that formed, was the first president of the South African Student Organization, which also formed the PCP, the Black Consciousness uh, Movement. I'm aware of uh, uh, Yes, it, it was correctly led. 
the the youth of 1976 was mobilized under the leadership of 48 machine in yes. of Ibo Epimta. Yeah. So the, there was leadership. It's just that in uh, uh, the because we we'll only see videos of young people of going young on the streets yes. yes. yeah. and, 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 and all of that. Of yeah. Yes. Makubo, yes. yes. Even yeah. even the first mass fall, which is recent, comrades, it was led. Yeah. They may they may say that it was not led, but they were SRC people. They were, I mean, yeah. I was part of the leadership of DUT. Yeah. Who there were people who mobilized students from classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was us. Mm -hmm. Who sat in long meetings at night planning that tomorrow what we are going to do, how yeah. we are going to evade the police, how are, which department must we go to? Mm -hmm. So there's always leadership in, in all the revolution. In everything, technically, yeah. in every uh, revolution uh, that ha that happens. Exactly, my brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so, so so those young boys, it's not a problem, my leader, to to participate in the revolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do what you want. The only problem is when you appoint yourself as a leader, especially so, in a party. In a party. Which is MK. MK is a constitution, has a leadership, it has a directive, it has objectives. So anyone can participate. Yourself too, you can join MK here and start your own revolution. If you mm. have issues that you have in this ward, you can fight those issues. If you have issues that you have in your campus, you can fight those issues. The problem begins when you start forming your own structure. Yeah. Okay. Outside mm. of, the MK, of the MK, recognizing you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, and having totally different objectives or other goals from mm. the MK yes. than the objectives and the goals that you have for yourself. Mm. Exactly, yeah. right? Exactly. Okay, I think I get you. Mm. So now it brings us to a point whereby we have a uh, way. I have a question of: Is there any conflict, uh, conflict of interest, rather, whereby, whereby let's not forget the fact that the MK. The MK itself, before it became a party, it is a subdivision of the ANC, right? Where you said they went to exile and trained and they came back as veterans. If, if I'm getting that correct. It right? was never a subdivision of the ANC because, as I told you, that Mandela formed the MK, the ANC rejected his proposal. Right. But they formed this in defiance and, and they continued uh, to exist up until the ANC then started recognizing MK as part of like an alliance with it, mm. not under it. Not no. under him. Even in 93. Mm -hmm. An alliance, not under not yes. That's not very under. important. Even in 93, yeah. about Nelson Mandela, they decided to disband the MK. Krizan was very furious about that. If you, if you listen history, if you follow history, it was disbanded. Again, now they form the MKMVA now mm. to look after the soldiers and former people that were in the exile. In 2020, 2021, if I'm not mistaken, under the leadership of Ramaphosa, they also now disbanded now the MKMVA. So there is no way, there's no claim that they, they can have to Umkonto Wesizwe. That is why it's called Umkonto Wesizwe. It's the people's movement. Umkonto Wabant, Umkonto Wesizwe. Au pilong Umbalula, au pilong Ramaphosa. So seeing that EMK is, uh, you said four months, ne? Four months now. Before. Izoba, Izowazi, Waganje, which political party were you a part of? Oh, myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've been around in political <laughs> parties. <laughs> <laughs> I some, say some it's, it's, it's like, a thing of finding yeah, that right some, spot. Yeah. Some yeah. even insult me on, on social media, including Kanyele. They call us political prostitutes. And, <laughs> yeah. and all I mean, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. It's, 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 it's hey, social of... media is another place. Yeah. It's a shame of it. It's cyberbullying. Yeah. 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 with people. Yeah. 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 What are we doing this for? So mm. we don't care whatever people say. Say, yeah. And we know we must dispel the notion to say that if you join another party, it's wrong. It's not. We, we, we live it's in not. a democratic country. Yes, you have a and choice. And our democracy is maturing. Mm. Yeah, but in fact, we should encourage people that if the party that you joined does not fulfill the, 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 the objectives the or the ideology that True. you believe yeah. in, you must live Move, it. Yeah. It's the same like as Umchod. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't like, be stuck I mean, in a yeah. relationship I mean, with a person on a petty guy. Oh, yeah. 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 When you stuck because it's your bambelela. Yeah. 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 You know what? More shot than a moon. 
No, no, I'm still like, I would really love to know, Uguti, what do you think really happened in Mali and why it case a Of course, yes, we know all the answers to that. It's really Mali. It's exactly as I said, scandal story. They were spinning a story saying that there was uncles that were sold. It's mm. a lie. Yeah. It's the monies of the COVID. Yeah. yeah. Some of it were charged through this thing of PPEs. Yes. I'm, yes. A, com- I'm a comrade. They were up, around, down, and up everywhere, busy procuring PPEs. Yes. I was to tap it in a best thing. I'm a mask in a corner. But first, I want to get vaccinated. I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but I'm just saying. Actually, it was. I remember the guys. No, but hold on. Let's talk about I guess it's a germ, but the COVID is a germ. But I want without mask, without saying but they never died from COVID. Actually, I want to say who vaccinated and died from COVID. To tell you the truth, so it was a money making business if you look at it. She died in hospital. I, I think I wouldn't say COVID. I wouldn't say it was a money making. Was she vaccinated my, or yes, not? Yes, yes. My my mother also that I mean, I'm part of COVID, mm-hmm. but Ekaya so refused that she's not going to hospital. Yeah, yeah. We looked after and her, Ekaya. I'm telling you, till today she's alive. Yeah, old wow. as she is, uh, she's 73 years old, diabetic, and have all those chronic diseases mm-hmm. which say the about the COVID. If you get Ebola, the Mona, but then she didn't die. She's still alive. Who that can manage them? What kind of a virus? But it was so six? shocking, in COVID, hey? Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. the way it was. It was so choke. shocking. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, it, it, it begs the question of what kind of a virus accepts other chronic diseases? I mean, mm. shouldn't a virus actually be above a certain disease? I'm not sure if I'm making sense in a political or Above, other, like, a, what a, 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 like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Science fact. Rather, like, a chronic virus, a virus should be above ganjan. Like, According to the way I read things, I'm not sure of, uh, of how things yeah. are, are, are put out there. Yeah. But if virus is something that's supposed to be, that they're supposed to eat something out, whether it's deadly, but if it's not a virus, it'll eat it out. I if mean, it's a I'm disease, good. listen, if it's a disease, right? Uh-huh. A virus will eat it out. Right? If it's a disease. If it's a disease. Okay. Like, oh, then EA overpower. EA overpower. Because right. if it's a virus, like it's the same thing that happens with. That's a so-called argument. What's up on big? Yeah, well, I'm not saying. No, 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 but a number of uh, druggies died because of COVID. Because of COVID. Yeah. But as a COVID, 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 means you must have one thousand million. Aye. That's one billion. Imagine Wait. how much is one million. Yeah, last year yeah, and nothing yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. One? Nothing happened. No one is asking. No one anything. is accountable. There are no protests. Guys, were we in n- 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 is really. mm. a billion, like one billion mm. is a thousand millions. Yes. Yes. So five hundred billion. Imagine. Billion divided by sixty million. So can I South Africa? Yeah. So can I ask you something? So can I ask you something, Guti? Who funds you as the MK? Well, as the MK, we, we, we are funded by the people. Yeah. Uh, we okay. don't have funders per se. 
uh, our members who are, are sympathetic to the revolution, mm -hmm. yes. uh, who support the revolution, about uh, Isabenza. We have many people about Isabenza, about Pantela, who are hustlers. Yeah. So even come back to make trust your hamburgers, your goopy, will get petrol there, will get donation there, will get food there, food monitors, those niggas who go to the market, we have a meeting and all those things. There is no. Like specific, specific funding or fund. Maybe it's also Kamura because you can't go to elections yes, without yeah. without funding. Yeah, okay. But many people are being intimidated. I must say this on this True. podcast. Many potential funders, they are being threatened by uh, ANC people to say if you are seen funding MK, you will lose uh, uh, your businesses, will close you down and all of those things. Is so, that even allowed? It's not allowed. It's clandestine. It's not allowed. But you have proof for that, that the NC is actually Of course, thing. you can't have proof of that. They won't write it down. Yeah. Yeah, well, they will yeah. speak to a person word of mouth mm. and so forth, call you or whatever, and intimidate them. Yeah, but especially here in Gauteng, it's, yeah. it's even worse. Yeah, but you know, today we heard on the news that you guys might not even get on the, on ballot. the ballot paper. Yeah, they, that's, they are trying to, to do that. Because you must ask yourself a, a very What are you guys are saying is question. MK? What 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 is what with with the response that you guys are getting, or rather the 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 words or the, the whole speeches or things that you're getting from the me? What are you guys are saying? What is the MK saying about the fact that if Nyasuswa go the IEC the whole we made it very clear as the, as the MK you click if they can remove MK from the ballot, mm -hmm. there won't be elections in this country. So you know, actually, um, yeah. we want to know. So you guys are yeah. willing to go because then through our measures. Okay. We are willing to lay down our lives and die. I mean, in this is the same statement that came out democracy. of the news. Yes, well, it's just saying it's not just about defending MK, but it's defending principle. Principle. Yeah. Even if okay. it was another party, or even hundred years from now, maybe MK is no longer existing. Mm -hmm. Will want the people to refer back to this time in history. If the corner of my post of that time, who will want to disqualify parties because they can see that this is going to win? Yeah. Mm. They are going to be defeated. Yeah. Now they are trying to reverse the democratic gains. But what did Chris Annie died for in this country? Mm. What did Mama Winnie suffer and tortured for, for. if Sizovuma Solomon Matang was hanged as a young man at the age of 21 years old? Hanged, fighting so that we can vote in this country. Now, a, a, a single individual by the name of Sir Ramaphosa will just come and reverse that and threaten us with the army. He's already threatened us that if we, 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 inst we instigate unrest, uh, if the MK is removed, we're going to be arrested. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're stronger today. Okay. And we are telling them that we are not going to accept that the MK will be disqualified yes. and removed. We will render the elections ungovernable. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Okay. So now this begs the question of the 2021 July unrest, right? Mm. Um, it, well, other people, rather, the people that were interviewed on the news said, Angiti Uzuma, Bambo Pile, Bam Kip. Exactly. So, right. So, as you sta just recently stated that, should we be removed out of the ballot paper, there won't be any elections. Are you actually saying that might be another insight of... Of course. Of another uh, up uprising or of course. An imagine, unrest? Imagine the July unrest only happened in two provinces, in Kazakhstan think... and, and, and in the pockets of Gauteng. Mm. Now, imagine it's a pinde nine, Leon. They mm. failed to stop just people in Kazakhstan and oh. in Gauteng. There is no way, there is no army of men that can stop an idea whose time has come. Mm. So the mm. MK is a, is a people's movement. We have already won the elections as MK. We have numbers on our side yeah. as the MK. That is why they are panicking and trying to do all shenanigans to try and stop the MK from the ballot. Mm. Let them do that as the UK will be leading in the forefront in mobilizing our people on the streets, disrupting yeah. the elections. Why is it so? So we can change my vote. So what? Get some elections at the MK in. Yeah. But from your vote about what I see, get quite a All right. So can I just stop you then? Eh? Um, and ask this and ask this question, Uguti. Um, oh, sorry about that. Actually, <laughs> yes. I have to go back. Sorry about that. You can continue. Yeah. Uh, so I, well, while she's on her 
I just wanted to know also something, Guti. What really sub, uh, 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 rather differentiates between... Okay. What is the difference wow. between the MK Youth League and the NC Youth League, right? Mm. We have... On the NC Youth League, rather, we have the NY, NYDA, right? Then what do we have as the MK on the youth matters or rather youth challenges or problems that we're currently facing in this country? Well, the NYTA, it's a, it's a, it's a government institution. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the youth league of mm -hmm. the NC. It's, 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 a, it's a youth, it's like the youth service or youth commission that has been formed to deal with youth matters, mm -hmm. to assist young people who want to form businesses, to uh, submit proposals to parliament on youth mm -hmm. policies in the country on how to better the lives of young people. <laughs> Of which that NYTA today is being used as, as, as a tool for ANC people. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a huge difference between the MK Youth League and the ANC and Youth League. Mm -hmm. The MK Youth League is a revolutionary, radical, and militant organization. It's an organization that is principled, that have genuine caters, which are fighting for a real emancipation of our people. The ANC Youth League are just young people who are captured by old people in the ANC. Abanye Babo, Abamatanyo, President Nkunkuze, Lutu Ngakulu, Mgende, Abamatanyo, Lago Tiko, Nabafu, Etu. Yenzega, Nanda, Asikon, Ngaibona, Namusu, Nifike, Kolo, Utaibo, Nipele, Niti, Yenzega. Yeah. Matanyo. So these people, they are captured by uh, the old people. They are given tenders. They've become a dog with no teeth. Mm. They are no longer the youth league of Anton Lambert. In fact, as the MK youth league were inspired by that youth league mm. of the 1944, of o Anton Lambert, of O Robert Sebu, of O Epim Da, of O Olesi Majombos. They have long abandoned the, the struggles, credentials, and the, the ideology of the youth league that is to fight for the emancipation of black people in this country. This youth league of today is busy in tenders. They are busy. Uh, in, in the, we will find them. more on money. Yeah, yeah it's like when you join politics, yeah. we know you're going to be like driving the next luxurious exactly. car. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. So, what exactly. I wanted to ask before I forgot is that, um, Benfunubu Zuguti, let's get to the real matters unemployment. Mm. The youth is still unemployed. It's 2024. The mm. youth is still unemployed. With With qualifications. Mm. Yes. And adult content, adult content creator. Ne? You must highlight that adults. I'm self-employed. I chose that route because of unemployment. Mm. How do you guys, when you guys sit in those meetings and committees, what do you do? You guys actually discuss those issues as a unemployment and take it into heart. And what are you saying and promising us as a four-month-year-old party? Niti, you're gonna deliver. Should the youth of South Africa vote for you? Yes, exactly. In fact, it goes back to what I was saying, Uti. When we're speaking about the issue of sex work, you know, mm. Mm. Uh, for the mere fact that people have to resort to that, it means there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a crisis, you know, uh, in the mm. country of unemployment, particularly among the youth. Mm. You know, the you know the statistics they are very skyrocketing. They are staggering. Yes, shocking to say the least. Yeah. South Africa Actually, has yeah. the highest unemployment rate yeah, in well. the world mm. and the highest level of inequality mm. in the world. You know, and these things are not. They are not uh, God created. They are man made. Man made. They are man made by the system and the policies of the government. You know. So as the MK and the MK Youth League, when we take over power, what we will do is that we will push for industrialization. We want to make sure that we nationalize our banks, we nationalize our mines, and then we process our own raw materials here in this country. Because the minute that you take raw materials outside of the country, it means you are creating jobs for those people yes. in, in the other countries. And you now we only become consumers. We have to say that we need time on the same stands. We must say that American Swiss. Cut all kumbela. Leave kumbela. Mara libu ya Mary. No, it's 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 a national crisis that we've been dealing with since what? Since yes. the industries have been the side. Exactly. Exactly. The side. So. It's important that people should actually know and be familiar with the fact that with a lot of diamonds, rather the majority of the diamonds that are even on Queen Elizabeth's crown, exactly come from Africa. Africa. You know, yes. To be specific, Kimberley, South Africa, the mm -hmm. big three gems that are exactly. on her yeah. crown. You know, the Apumala. Fact, God, and they will never give Africa credit for they nothing. They will never do that. Yes, they won't. Until we rise up and take our own place in the world as equal human beings and equal partners. Yeah. But so long as we always try, uh, you know, to impress the West, we try to copy them in everything we do. In everything we do. We cut our hair because 
they, they told us that our hair is untidy. It's unneat. But if you look at other races, all other races, they don't cut their hair. Mm. In fact, if you see a white man in a bundle, it's like, when he it's like something is wrong. Mm. Actually, but he, na fanele skundi no leze it. Waman des fazani, they must put wigs. Yes, they must put wigs. In a bundle type of situation, but we can't have our own cuts. The things that we want. He got a mini mini chisco. He in the girls. I as you have a situation whereby. Uh, our black people once uh, and they go to these model C schools, but mm. No, they want to bury the, 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 the culture. Yeah. They, 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 poverty. they don't want to embrace it. Mm. It's like more about African in places where there's a lot of whites. Yes. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why black people do that, but they it's don't embrace being black when they are amongst 80% oh, of whites. Steve Bigo teaches us that the most potent weapon at the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. True. The Which mind means, of the oppressed. Yes, that is the most it's... potent weapon in their hands. Mm. So they've made us to, to believe that we are less of humans. They've made us to hate ourselves. We mm. hate being black. That is why we hate our hair. We hate everything being black. Mm. That is why even Uma School Missing is like School Missing is Valamaka. It's a It's like they're more intelligent. Yeah. 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 Like, we, we, we use English, <laughs> we use English as, as a measure, measure of uh, intelligence. intelligence. And and that's that's of not actual how language. Life is. Exactly. Yeah. So we are, we're having a big problem. So I think the first step that as the MK Utlik want to do, want to liberate the people from mental slavery first. Mental Before slavery. people, they can actually be uh, liberated economically and otherwise. They must first believe in themselves. Yeah. They must first believe that they do deserve to live like other nations. Mm. They must first believe they are also humans created by God and God loved black people so much that he even gave us all the resources in the world. Mm. You know, as Africa, if we can just close off all other continents that we can survive, we don't need anything from True. anyone. Yeah. In fact, Ibona Banga is a best one in Unemployment. I don't think in Exwila mean to my satisfaction. Of course. What are you guys promising the youth as a new party now? Mm. Everyone is head over heels because with the MK. See, I, because mm. it is a real thing. Mm. No, the, the that is why I go to a in every corner. I think the problem in this country is, is, is this thing of political parties making promises. As the MK and the MK would take, we don't make promises. Okay. But we make commitments of what is it that is our plan of action in doing this thing. But mm. MK about that's about recruit by Isaac. So we don't, we don't do these things. Of, we're going to give you 5 million jobs like how that is uh, uh, the have, been, yeah. have yeah. been doing. We're mm. saying in South Africa, there is money. Mm. There is a lot of money. The problem, the money is circulating in the hands of a few. Mm -hmm. a few. So we need a government that will break the chain mm. through government policy, through legislation. That is why we're saying we want to take majority so that we can change many policies which are the ones that are unable to create jobs. I've counted one, the issue of industrialization. Oh, yeah. The South Africa is being deindustrialized. In fact, they are more creating incidents uh, that are exploitative a slave jobs like yeah. I'm a EPWP, yes. I'm a agent like uh, your inland or Ibizwani, or to Kasho Muntu, or what else is also under an agent, yeah. yeah. All those things are, are, are actually the things that are, are killing jobs. Yo. And if, if, if you have a job, you are exploited. Yeah. And also the influx of illegal foreigners coming in and taking even those smaller jobs mm. because the employer is exploitive. He wants to exploit as much as possible and mm. get more labor from you in less money as possible so that you can maximize profit. So that is why they are willing to take uh, uh, illegal foreigners because buyers, they are desperate. They are That's coming from much. other countries. But mm. just that this was more. Mm. So in this country, the only way to create employment is that you change government policies, you change legislation, you industrialize the economy, put young people to work. 
Muno there are many things efanga bisa zenza kule kule lizwe esingaze. Mina ichallenge nanganga lapha yana if you go to any government offices whether it's the home affairs whether yeah. it's a clinic kuhlela ugogo omdala umbona ukuthi lomela ngabe seka ku pension manje akafuni ukunceda number 1 yeah. number 2 nje akana sikhathi sakho they treat you ngathi uyabancenga. You yeah. know those are the things I feel like mina personally as yeah. a South African individual yeah. ukuthi those those need to change. Another problem why in 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 public service workers are so demoralized they are underpaid they are underpaid, they are underpaid. Over- so they are not over- motivated over- to work over- that's why they drag their feet u siri la maphosi loko angena kaza inyusi imali ama public servant never even a single day i don't know why u siri lu unenhlahle njani as there's never been a single process to say siri must fall um, are you going to yeah. 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 but, but, no, but, but i think you stated that it's because it's, cupcake it's because <laughs> But I think it's the media is, is supporting him. No, the yeah, media, is. the media is, is a powerful tool that drives yeah. the narrative. Mm. Let's go back to Steve Bigo. Mm. The most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mm. mind. The mind. The so the media deals with the mind. It's like it programs people or indoctrinates them to believe the certain things, you know. So the media always by all means try to cover Ramaphosa and make him seem like a, a very good leader a very well uh, deserving leader mm. and so forth and don't show the real challenges in this country in this country are facing an economic depression do you know that i'm well aware yes. it's we we're in a financial we, depression actually we no, are very financially depressed right. like, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, and the media is not very financially no. <laughs> people look on tiktok people have been retaining yeah. cars to pay yes. yeah people uh, their houses are being repossessed they can no longer pay for bonds because mm. the, the 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 bonds they have, dub, have doubled if not tripled mm. E mortal is a installment of double if not triple. Mm-hmm. How many div- how many people have divorced because of this economy? Because of yeah. Yeah, because if mm-hmm. you talk about Dingi Mal guys, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so mal, 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 mal. People, that is why gender based violence is so high in the country. People that is why place. even violent crimes is increasing every day. It can only start that man because why say Lambega cool. So it, it will only become worse until we stand up and do something as the citizens of this country. Mm-hmm. You know, a- another thing that can create employment. We've always submitted this thing. I don't know why people, especially the capitalists, they are, sometimes they are very dumb and stupid. Mm. We said, give workers a living wage. We call it a minimum wage. Labas manje is nonsense. A minimum wage currently is 3,500 in this country. How are you expecting to live on 3,500? Imagine. Actually, let's go, let's mm. go to, besides the, the, the minimum wage, right? There's other... Um, the actual call center agents mm. are expected to earn 3500 exactly exactly and with that you are staying a lokshin so way to how are you expected to go to kibeleng 1.5 and expected to go to o kipe malek rosa transport you, 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 exactly. are you getting me we bread we are the only one who's got that the job only one or was of vuga exen or four or five hours there's an ngo here i think the the last time they did a, a, a research or survey was in 2012. Abai Biza cost ban ban index. Uh, how 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 much does a food basket cost? Like by calculating what should be a national minimum wage, ne? Okay. So they check the cost of an they take an average person. Mutoki bela yo ufundi singa ni like a family of six. Mutengi mm. crossa or always good no good. They did like a budget, and that time it was 12,500 in 2012. That is why, if you remember, the workers of Marikana, they demanded that. Because yes, they were, I remember they that. They were taking it from They're that taking source. taking it from that source. Mm. See, this is the money that you need as an ordinary worker, an entry-level worker for you to survive. Imagine now it's 2024. Yeah. It's 2024. That's that that 2012. 12,000 is not even anything It's, not, it's now. nothing now. Yeah. You see, Kichimago, 20-something thousand mm. for My you God. to survive, pay school fees, I think it's important to groceries. actually... Mary, because come to give me a look shot at Singapore as Africans. Me just think I just made a young man. Me just love all. That's why I think I love all. Just imagine me shot on Saibon. My social media, I'm not a bad shot. Ile Queen is up and high rocky. Ni chelo guti on kinto baza ne man just like Queen. Hmm. Yeah. Ako na man a jere. But one come on to okay. But I was dala man a jere, man a jere. That is a matrix. So. Uh, let's not paint them all as red there are those who came in the country and legally and those who've opened solid businesses yeah. of course. but obviously not by majority rules we'll judge True. by the majority exactly i mean i have only so, one question 
mm-hmm. you as a, as being South African, whether legal or illegal, will you go that side and open a, a business and tell me if you don't get closed down? You will, the, you will never do that. You will you never, never do that. that. So I do not care. Actually, no. they've taken Actually, over our city. Exactly. Yeah. I, will not care about, I will not care about <laughs> if Umuntu came here illegally or not. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm a strong believer in you can see the actual economic states or rather the social states that we as a South Africans are living under. Mm. If you can see, Guti, we as South Africans are struggling, what gives you the nerve with the bone on the side Excuse to continue me. selling drugs or rather to continue living in South Africa while you don't leave the little amount of what do what they eat plantain to us? He has good to what gives them the nerves is the South African girls that they date mm. and the babies that they give them and mm-hmm. the marriage proposals that they accept. They accept. The, 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 the so, Iba Pipa, the Leon, the, the because politicians that they, they bribe. Most they bribe, exactly. Yes, yeah, and the yes. police service. Mm. The police the, service that they bribe mm. under the ANC government. <laughs> I'll slap you. Konosekwa <laughs> <laughs> Going back to serious things, like, do you think Kuguti, um, the youth is going to be like showing full um, participation with the elections coming? Of course, you know, we've received very positive response on the ground. Mm. You know, young people generally, they don't like politics and it's deliberate. The yeah. system has made them to be apathetic and passive. Mm. Mm. Because, because, I mean, yes. Uh, yes. Come on. How because, do we have a, poli- a, a parliament whereby we discuss serious caucuses or other discussions that are mm. implementations or other implications of the youth year, or the economic struggle that we... I'm going to <laughs> Just sleeping. Yeah. And then so, we, we, we become uninterested in, in so, certain so, so things. So the youth this time will be voting, my my, my, my Yeah, plan. we are there. So you're confident. Myself, myself, already now, in, even in universities, now in colleges, we, have, we are winning campuses. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've already won four. They put no parlor there. If you can uh, take this. Uh, we've won around four campuses, Mativet College, mm. in KZN as well. Yeah. No young people. In fact, our slogan is saying, our 2024 is our 1994. Year of change. Yes. Year of There's change. that atmosphere in the air yeah. that people will be voting for the first time. Some have never voted. They've been yeah. eligible. Yeah. But they didn't vote. But this time, because there's MK, they are they now are saying, winning. we are voting. MK is giving us hope. It's giving us a sense of purpose that there is a better tomorrow. And you'll see the queues on the 29th May. Yeah. They'll be coming out yeah. in their numbers yeah. to vote. And they'll be voting MK. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, now nah, I'm I'm not gonna say much, but guys, um, myself, I'm I was interested in the politics. <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to study political yeah, science. Yeah, I'm actually a, politi- a, a political science student, but I decided nah, I got bored. Nah, I wasn't there wrong. I, I, when I'm going no. to the school and the political money is not there. You know, the thing is, I think it's 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 because of that. I went to the whole. Theoretical side yes. of the politics, yeah. but I was interested. I mean, I I got to 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 be no. exposed on a lot of, of information, course, yeah. you know. But I, I got bored with the whole thing of what is actually happening in no. our country. I if, got because you are know, the opposite uh, of reality. You know, yeah. you get bored. Exactly. You know, yeah. I mean, if you I mean, study politics, you will only become a political analyst, or you'll become a lecturer when you have done your doctorate and become a professor. That's okay. what political science is about. Yeah. Okay. But you are not a politician because you have studied political science. Yeah. Yeah. You are a politician because you have been an activist. You have been on the ground. You have struggled. Mm. You have uh, uh, confronted the system head you on. You felt the heat. And, 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 and politics, the, the biggest teacher is experience. Yeah. Nothing yeah. beats experience. So through your activism, 
you become Wait, experienced. Last us from the corner, you couldn't even get that experience. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I'm, 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 I mean, in Rosebank College, Bramfontein, oh, so the chances no, of you going out and yeah. being there within, but mm. I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't know where he yeah. is now, but uh, with the likes of uh, Mr. Washington, yeah. he was very prominent in the in the politics. He was there, he was there. Yeah, so, I mean, that's I, a problem I, yeah. with, with private colleges. Uh, again, the, the institutions of higher learning, mm -hmm. you are allowed to have student political formations through the Higher Education Act. Mm -hmm. Now, the Higher Education Act, it tells from the Constitution, which Chapter 2, Bill of Rights, the right of association, the right to form your party, the right to vote, and mm -hmm. so forth. So, Higher Education Act was formed on those bases to allow students on campuses to form and associate themselves in any political part. But it stipulates that in public institutions, and in this country, we have 26 public universities and universities of technology, and we have 50 TVET colleges, of which or Rosebank or Temele, no, but mm. they don't fall under that. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it's, uh, it's back to my point, guys. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, but the youth now so needs okay. to go out there and, and vote. And because vote. Because the decision needs to come. It's, it's within us, guys. Come on. We know we go, go, go to go, the ANC go, this, the ANC that. The ANC that. Yet we're not doing we anything. have the power and the narrative to change exactly. that. I mean, we have Abokoko and Abomkul. We're having the only thing that they believe in is ANC. Whether they do wrong, shame, loot. Or whatever the thing they, the thing may be, mm. Bahesi, Bazo, Ket, INC. Mm. So that goes back to my question that um, that begs the question of would, should the MK be part of the whole Spete Gauteng, Spete E, uh, the the case it in Spete, a lot of uh, um, a lot of other provinces to name those two because of Gauteng and 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 case it in are. Uh, the actual uh, provinces that you guys would want to take leadership in. Won't Zuma build another swimming pool rather of looting with the whole leadership thing? Because, like, come on, we can't shy away from the fact that he was once accused or rather allegedly accused yeah. of the... Yeah, we can't shy away from that. We can't shy away from that. No, you, you must understand one thing again. You know, Uzuma, Uzuma is, is, a, is a product of the ground. Yeah. It's the product of the people. He's the only president this country has been elected who has never been liked by media. Mm -hmm. You'll remember even before he was elected as president, mm. oh, I'm still to yen and everything. So they wouldn't have been a, a, a peaceful leadership of Zuma when he was taking decisions that were against the capitalist. Uzuma, what's at South Africa is a good bricks. Often calling nuclear power. I'm telling you, I'm not as a case. And I'm just not sure because in nuclear, once we have nuclear, it produces uranium as a byproduct. I'm telling you, I'm not sure. nuclear weapons in this country. You know, in this country, we don't have any form of defense. Or oh, oh, no Make Korea, but no man who can't. No America, but no nuclear, but no ban. I think that's a better decision. No, no, no. Okay, but we 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 but we disbanded our our nuclear weapons. Uzuma implemented free education, which owns by time they because mm. they, they own banks. So they benefit through commodification of education. Mm -hmm. Education because now they benefit through that. So Uzuma implemented free education, which Uzi Ramaphosa now is what is reversing it. Obvious, the Uzuma is not perfect. He was not perfect. Yeah, yeah no one is. He has his own mistake. But the media, what they did, they exaggerated everything. Everything. Mm. To, to, to. That is why even there were so many protests of Zuma, Zuma must fall. 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 Zuma Zuma must fall. Zuma must I remember that. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I so, also just want to find out on, on the, like, Nkulumela and by social media, because I saw a lot of people saying, you know, imagine me as a Sutu or as a vendor going to vote for Umkondo okay, so, so can yes. you please just explain how that would affect your votes and how would you like people to look at your political party? No, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a historical strategy, a long strategy of the oppressor. The oppressor he thrives on divide and conquer. Mm. That is how he has been able to oppress the African people. Okay. Divide them. So they divide us by tribe, 
they divide us by regionalism, where do you live? They divide us by political parties. They divide us by religion. So all these things have been uh, uh, created so that you can be divided. And we know that notion that they say Umkontawe Sizwe is a Zulu party. Because, Zulu part, yeah. because Zuma is a Zulu. That's nonsensical. Mm. If we can use the same logic, it means now the EFF is a petty party. Yeah. Because Julius is a petty. Mm. Uh, should it means the ANC is a vendor party. Because the president of the ANC is vendor, which is Ramaphosa. There's mm. nothing like that. MK is a party of all South Africans from even Malamlele who have members. In fact, they are more active. Wow. If I'm, I'm following their WhatsApp groups and their social media pages there, mm. they are very active. Go Limpompo, go Northwest, go Free State. We have numbers everywhere. MK is a national organization because Uzuma has a national footprint. He has people who believe in his leadership across all provinces. But the enemy, it thrives in propaganda. Mm. Because human beings are gullible, you know. Human beings are easily, you know, able to be blinded, you mm. know, by a narrative that is being pushed. So if you really are a paid, you are a vendor, and you are told, and oh, Zulus, they want to rule you, it's easy for you to catch on that. Yeah, yeah. plus and, the and social then, media does not make it uh, easy with the whole fact of, uh, I'm not Zulu, I'll pay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't, we, we don't make it yeah, easy. And yeah. And then, yeah, it, it comes from yeah, historical yeah, background. Yeah, I don't think I'm Zulu, I'm not 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 because it's important, Guti says, Guti, the Zulu nation or the Zulu people are not only associated with violence, but just being a, a firm nation, rather, I'd say it like that. Be, me being Zulu myself, I would mm -mm. say we are really firm. No, 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 I'm not saying we're violent, guys, I'm just saying. Condo is for the people, not no, for Zulus. No, no, as Mkonto always says, we are a peaceful party. Yeah. yeah. We love peace, we want people to live nice, but like I'm not, but which is not big, and I'm a prawns. But we are not willing to compromise our peace for our rights, for our freedom, for and our, our freedom democracy. Yeah. If anything threatens that, if poverty is violent, by the way, comrade, it's violent. Yeah. So violent begets violence. The only way to end war is to war. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Um, guys, please don't forget to follow us on our socials. It's at Black Beyond Measure. And this Black, is our Black, first episode. Black, Black. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you on the next episode.